So, what do the letters IGP stand for? I go move. IGP, IGP. Take your best guess. Uh. So, what is an IGP? Oh, Lord have mercy. He said it, but all I know is it has to do something with high school. <laughs> First thing comes to your mind. I give praise. <laughs> it is an independent graduation plan. Wait, am I right? I have, I have no clue. I don't know. An IGP is like your uh, end of a... Uh, individual guidance plan for like going into high school and stuff to prepare you for the future. I know P is for plan. <laughs> An IGP is a meeting to where you can select your college, or well not college, high school courses for next year. G graduation? Okay, IGP, what does IGP stand for? Intelligent good people. IGP stands for Individual Graduation Plan, and it's a really exciting time that starts for students in eighth grade. In eighth grade, we begin planning for high school for that ninth grade year and selecting courses and kind of selecting a path for students to take as they travel through school and on their way to career or college. An IGP is a good way for a parent and a student to sit down with a counselor just to make sure that they are on track, that they're taking the credits that they need to graduate high school. That's the ultimate goal, is for students to graduate high school. It's important just to give an idea for the student on um, what classes they can take that will help them with their future careers, but also to help the counselors make sure that they are taking the right classes for graduation and then anything that they are interested in as well. Um, so it just is like a, um, a path for them. It's definitely helped me a lot because I think it's like it helps me organize like what classes I'm, I need to take and what classes I have taken. And like it shows you, like they show you what classes there are for you to take and there's things that I wouldn't have expected to take like intro to teaching and I'm glad I took it because it was a new opportunity I had and I'm, it helped me a lot. Middle school classes are shorter than high school classes and typically run for the entire year. Whereas high school classes are semester classes, they're longer, typically an hour and a half during the day. And then the rigor in regards to high school classes is tougher. Um, there's more homework, there is more um, independent learning rather than, you know, the teacher so much helping you, but the teachers are there to help you definitely, but a lot is put back on the student as well to do their independent learning. You have to make sure that you stay focused and you don't have like teachers babying you like they do in middle school and helping you out as much. There are different pathways in high school depending on what, your, what you want your options to be after high school. Students can take college prep classes, they can also take um, honors classes, IB, AP, dual credit, there are so many options available to them. Um, they can also take a lot of electives that will support those classes as well. IB is more is international baccalaureate. It gives more of a world view. Um, so students have the opportunity to study how we impact the world and how the Im world impacts us. AP is the increased rigor. Um, at the end of AP courses, they're going to take tests that can help them to earn college credits and um, to extend beyond their high school years. We also have the honors track, which helps students who are interested in attending college and will get them that increased grade point average to help them as they go along their college pathway. Dual credit offers the opportunity to earn college credits as well and those college credits are earned in partnership with some of our local colleges. In order to get their high school diploma, they do need to have 24 credits, and those are comprised of at least four English, four math, three science, three social studies, and then some of the required electives are also PE, a foreign language or a Kate class, um, computers, there are several different things that they do have to take for that graduation requirement. But we also have other electives at ATC and the business departments at each of the high schools that offer them even more electives to take. 
PE has three different ways you can obtain it. You can take a PE class. You can also now take marching band with the PE unit or take ROTC, the military class. So either of those three will satisfy the PE requirement. There are 16 career clusters and we talk about them in middle school and continue to focus on them in high school. They select a career cluster just to give them an idea of an area that they might be interested in and that way we can help them on building certain skills. We can also work with them on different types of jobs within that career cluster and also expose them to different classes that will help them in that career cluster for the future. This offers them the opportunity at times to earn certificates or to prepare for what they want to do after high school, including going straight into the world of work. So every year you'll have a chance to sit down with your counselor and your parent and do another IGP for the following school year. So it's okay if what you choose as an eighth grader is, is not the same thing that you want to do as you go through ninth, 10th, 11th grade. It's okay to change your mind. Career clusters are flexible. We certainly don't want to pigeonhole a child in ninth grade for what they're going to do for the rest of their lives. Well, I love career counseling and we have career counseling in all three high schools and it's to expose students to different careers that are out there, various careers maybe that they have never heard of. Um, and some of the ways that we do that, we do job shadows so students can go out and job shadow somebody in the community. We also do apprenticeship programs, internship programs, and a lot of times we bring in speakers to educate them on various career opportunities. So we do a lot of different things, assessments with students to really help them decide what, a, what path they would like to take in the future. We support our learners in Rock Hill Schools by providing the opportunity to take courses at the Applied Technology Center and we do just that. All students from all three high schools can attend programs here at ATC. They can drive their own vehicle if they have parking pass at their home school, Rock Hill High or South Point. Of course, Northwestern students can just walk right next door. And we also have shuttle buses that provide transportation for students. We really enjoy welcoming ninth graders here to the campus of ATC. We have so many programs to offer them and we really invite them just to try something related to their career path. And it's a great way to find out not only what they want to do after they graduate high school, but also what they don't want to do. So we welcome them and hope to see them soon. ATC classes have really, I mean, crucially impacted what I'm going to be doing in the next few years. I mean, going in as a freshman, I didn't know really what I wanted to do. I think that's where most students are, unless they have some dream as a child. I've taken health science for one, two, medical terminology, and actually vet assistant. And vet assistant was really fun. Like you got to do an internship for like 60 hours at a vet place, and you got to deal with animals, see surgeries, and everything else. It was pretty cool. It's, it's really, really cool to have all the choices because I know like just in my building there's drafting and welding and there's like horticulture and auto body and electricity and like there's so many different like career paths that you could take and like get into just from that that you might not have thought about otherwise just from like going to a normal school or like taking normal classes. Phoenix is going to be a lot different than a traditional school setting for any of the three high schools. Uh, the students that we serve come here for a different variety of different reasons. Could be because they're behind, wanting to play catch up. It may be that we have students who are looking to accelerate to graduate early, maybe three, three and a half years, as opposed to the traditional four. We have students that may be a team parent and they need a flexible schedule. We have students that may work full time and they need something that would be more flexible, conducive to their work schedule. We also have students who may be AP, Advanced Placement, International Baccalaureate, honor students who they have a very stringent schedule at their high school and maybe they want to do chorus or band or an elective that otherwise they could not fit into their traditional day. So they will opt to take a class or classes with us 415 to 6 in the evenings which would free them up then during their day schedule. And how we serve them is quite unique in that we are what's considered a self-paced, mastery-based learning environment. 
and that means that we use a curriculum that's fully encapsulated called GradPoint. So students get a username, password, they're able to work anywhere that they have internet access, and when they come to the class, our teachers are more facilitators. So rather than standing up in a traditional classroom and teaching to an entire class, uh, they're working a lot more one-on-one -on -one with the students and assisting them as needed. High school can be confusing and different and just you're unsure of what's going on. There are a lot more courses offered even as a ninth grader than there have been in middle school. So just having those conversations with your students, make sure you have a discussion about what it is your, your student, your child wants to do after high school to make sure the classes they're taking kind of line up with that. What I would say going into high school is just enjoy it, take advantage of it. I tell students all the time, high school is your time to explore and just have fun exploring, take the different electives, be open to different experiences and get involved. That's so important and don't get behind on your subjects because you're GPA is starting, some of you may start have already started in middle school, and it's starting right away, and that is going to depend on what college or career you might be um, getting into in the future. So enjoy it, explore, and just have fun. We know that there's an economic value to education, and when we are working to expand those programs at the Applied Technology Center, when we're working to ensure and to guide our students to be involved, to take advantage of those AP, IB, and dual credit opportunities, then we are certainly helping them, their families, to realize a benefit, both economically and educationally, to them and to their families by providing those in high school, whereas many would not get that opportunity until they get to the post-secondary level. We feel very honored, very fortunate, that we have these resources in the Rock Hill School District to provide to our graduates so that they can be better prepared for tomorrow. Mm -hmm.